It's time to pay tribute to Virat Kohli and his leadership on Hogs Vlog. Well, as we know, Virat Kohli has given up the captaincy in all three formats of the game for India. He is going to be sorely missed. But one thing I love is when he took over that captaincy, he had one thing on his mind, and that was to take Indian cricket to new heights. And he did. He did it by discipline, passion, setting standards, both physically, performance-wise, and the way they conducted themselves both on and off the field. And also, he put the team first. He put Indian cricket first above his own performances. The passion that he had, yes, he really tested the boundaries every now and then. Every now and then he overstepped those boundaries, but I'd rather him show his true colours than really be conservative and hold back. He really rubbed opposition teams up the wrong way when he needed to. He stuck that chest out. He wasn't willing to give up in any contest. He wanted to give it his all, and that is true leadership and the players followed. He set the standards. Now, the best performances that I've seen uh, with Virat Kohli or his leadership, the best performance was when they came over to Australia in 2019 and they beat us on our home soil. That set the way forward for Indian cricket and they were the team to beat from there on. He was absolutely sensational and I think it was uh, a couple of years in a row where they were number one as the test nation uh, while he was out the helm. Now, let's go through his record as captaincy. As a test captain, he's got the third best win percentage of any other captain. There's Steve Waugh, Ricky Ponting. Yes, two Australians, but I'm not worried about that. Virat Cole is just under that. The best record for an Indian cricketer at test level. But not only that, for players who have captained more than 50% of the time, he's got the best batting average. His performances did not drop off. He led from the front on the field as well as with the bat. And as I said before, other players followed. Now let's go to the one day arena. Yes, Ganguly and MS Dhoni captained more games, but Virat Kohli had a better win percentage. But also with the bat, Virat Kohli didn't drop off. Outstanding performances there at one day international level. And then we go to the T20 arena where he had a win percentage of 64%. So, and a batting average of 47. For me, you don't get too many leaders that captain the team, they have a good win percentage, but they don't drop off with the bat as well. That shows that he had true grit, tr true character, true resilience. And one last thing. I talked about the way that uh, he conducted himself off the field. Every time I've come across Virat Kohli, he's stopped, said g'day. We've had a chat about worldly things, cricket, whatever, and then he's moved on. He gives everyone a bit of his time, even though he's probably one of the most occupied cricketers, both on and off the field, with the way that he's got to train, the commitments that he's got commercially, as well as trying to get himself mentally right on the field, as well as his family. He is a true ambassador to the game. And for me, he is going to be missed as Indian captain moving forward. Well done to Virat Kohli. You've taken India cricket to new heights. The next captain, well, he's got a lot to live up to. He's got big shoes to fill. Now, downstairs, Put your best memories of Virat Kohli as a captain uh, down there and let's have a bit of an engagement of Virat Kohli, the leader. Thanks very much for joining me on Hogs Vlog and uh, I'll see you soon for another Hogs Vlog. I hope you enjoyed the tribute to Virat Kohli.